For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see um, how you can recover the grub. Basically, whenever you um, your grub is corrupted while uh, system is rebooted, you could not able to uh, boot the system. It struck at the grub layer. Like example, it just um, went into the grub mode and struck code there. Then how you can reinstall that or reconfigure that and uh, recover your system. Okay, let's see here how you can do that. Um, so this is my working Linux machine, like where I have um, um, send a stream uh, nine, please. And this is perfectly working all right. But I will simulate the grub uh, uh, prompt, like a grub uh, uh, corruption. Then we just recovered that from here. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the uh, boot and grub two here. So what I am doing here is that I'm just manually deleting the grub configuration file. See, so that it, it goes into the grub mode. So now grub.cfg file just remove it now the grub.configuration is file is gone so if if i reboot the system so which will go into the grub mode so let's reboot this one now i have issued the reboot and see that my system is try to reboot otherwise we can forcefully shut down and reboot the system so that it makes faster uh, just say reset so it will immediately reboot the system I can see that so which is in grub mode now so you see that oh it went into the grub so you could not do anything here over here so if you type any help command so there are lot of commands but most of the times these commands are not that useful so how you can restore your system from here so grub from the grub prompt so how you can do that so first of all what you have to do is that you have to um, boot your system into the um, with your whatever the version you have here from this you have to boot it so to do that what i'm going to do is that power on from the firmware so that i will set my um, default uh, boot device as the um, cd drive so I will just make this as a default one so that whenever my system is rebooted so it will boot from the um, that ISO here so this is the stream 9 ISO I am just rebooting uh, and it is loading from the ISO so it is booting from the ISO from here what you have to do is that you have to go to troubleshooting mode and go into the rescue mode so rescue mode CentOS system here so then it will take a little moment and load all the uh, required uh, uh, package components here for the rescue mode to be executed then it will take a minimum one two minutes of time uh, then load into the rescue mode then it will ask you for the uh, file system to be mounted to be mounted on this system so now you can see that So now you can see that it is asking you to continue whether the read only mount, mount point or skip to the shell or you want to continue or you want to reboot it. So I just want to continue this one. Just enter uh, one to continue that one. So it will try to remount the file system with the read write into the slash mnt slash sysroot location. So now let's see. So now the shell is there so just run the ch root so that it went into the ch root so now we are into the shell so here what you have to do is that you have to just you can just say lsblk and see that what are the file systems are mounted and where it is mounted so that you can see the all the information about that the partitions and all um, but our boot image is located at this is image so again we need to ch root into the slash mnt slash sys image now 
uh, it changed the switch root, switch root to the um, MNT uh, then boot so you can see that there's a boot is available now what you have to do is that you have to reconfigure so one thing is that you can do the grub to install so this is the command and provide the device name so where is your boot device is provided so here in this case my boot device is at um, NVMe N1 so you can provide this path and try to reinstall that grub but as of now my grub is not completely corrupted but I am not doing that one. Uh, currently what I am doing is that I am just going to reconfigure my grub configuration since I have deleted my grub configuration file right so to do that so you can make that grub to mk config uh, iphone o so send the output to the slash boot uh, grub to and grub dot cfg file so that it will make your grub file make sure that there is no spelling mistakes and you properly entered that information and just enter it so now it will regenerate that grub file so generating the grub configuration file you can see that adding the boot menu entries and all is be done so now just go into the boot and grub2 and check there is a grub.cfg file is available so that's the configuration uh, it's required to make it that so the, your grub is recovered so one thing is your grub is completely corrupted you just run the previous command like grub install slash your uh, device path like example slash dv slash sda uh, or in case of M nvme so you can just do slash dev slash nvme 0 n1 then it will automatically reinstall the uh, grub on the same partition one so it will no need to provide the partition details or they just point the disks it will automatically reinstall and uh, make sure that you have the grub configuration generated and do the uh, grub configuration save then you can just exit from over there so in case of you have the uefi boot not the um, older version of the grub version so you have to go to the slash boot efi efi centos uh, that's the file the grub chg file is located so make sure that you are into the correct path then do the correct configuration file right so then let's exit from here twice so now it system will reboot then after that what i have to do is that i have to shut down this machine power off this machine and uh, boot into the um, hard drive so currently right now it is booting into the uh, cd dvd now boot with the firmware version now you can go into the boot options here and just make this is as a default and save and exit so that the virtual machine will try to reboot um, then it should take some time so it actually what it will do when it actually try to boot it from so it bound the grab and everything then it's try to relabel this sc linux options then uh, all the files and reconfigure the sc linux then it will actually loads into the um actual ui like the user interface so you can see that right so the sc linux target policy is relabel is required so it takes a few minutes to relabel all the files you can see that so it's try to relabel all of them then it will actually after the relabeling it will actually load into your operating system so it might take two three minutes of time then until then just wait and see then we can go ahead and see that uh, how our grub is uh, recovered or not so now you can see that our system has been reloaded and just try to uh, open the console the putty console and see uh, whether we could able to do that session so this is my session and just restart this session here and try to log in with the root now i have go to the boot and grub2 and see whether my configuration has been recreated you can see that that is created at um, 
March 17, 21, 21 hours. So that's the one which is recreated. So now your system is act fully accessible and record from the grub corruption. So that's how you can recover the um, Linux machine. If any grub is corrupted, you could be able to do the grub and reinstall the configuration using the rescue mode. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses. And do comment your feedback, how it looks like, and your you could be able to resolve this issue using the similar scenario or not. Please follow us on social networking site. Uh, one is uh, Facebook. The Facebook page name is uh, at Linux ARKIT. Uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on Facebook. The next one is Instagram. Uh, Instagram name page name is ARKIT.co.in. Click on follow button to follow me and uh, Twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just tweet me at a ravikumar48 so I will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want the latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here.